It tops our news tonight at 6. We're glad you're with us. An accident the likes of which we have never really seen or heard before. A 70-year-old man from Oxford was killed Sunday when he hit a flying turkey while on his motorcycle. This happened on Stony Creek Road just west of Rochester Road. Jason Colthorpe is back with how this happened. Jason. Yeah, we're talking about a road that's out in the country a little bit, and when you're out there, you can hear geese and cranes and sometimes the turkeys. It's in an area with a lot of wildlife and a lot of traffic. It was almost one o'clock Sunday afternoon when a 2005 Triumph motorcycle was headed west on Stony Creek Road. That's when a turkey flew across the road and hit the 70 year old driver in the chest so hard he crashed into the guardrail and the turkey was blown to pieces. When it's your time, it's your time. I mean, so a turkey hitting a motorcycle, I mean, that's an act of God. Pam White lives just a few feet away from where the accident happened. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the main problem with this whole situation is the speed on this road. She says they don't have a turkey problem there, they have a speeding problem. People use this road as the Audubon. And I don't know how fast this gentleman was going, however, it's, uh, probably pretty fast considering the turkey was pretty decimated. According to the Oakland County Sheriff, the impact sent the driver into the guardrail post where he lost his left leg below the knee. Emergency crews were able to stabilize him and get him to the hospital where he later died. I feel so bad for his family. I can't even imagine the pain they must be going through to have such a fluke accident and to lose a loved one due to something like this is unimaginable. Yeah, it really is. That road, by the way, has no posted speed limit, but the Oakland County Sheriff tells me when there is no posted sign on a highway like that, you should assume it is 50 miles an hour. I can tell you being out there, a lot of people don't think it's 50. It's such a freak. No. It's hard to, I, I can't imagine it would have made much of a difference. We always get the question, was was, he, was a motorcyclist wearing a helmet? Yeah, he was actually, not only that, he was actually wearing a lot of protective gear on top yeah, of yeah, that. And it's right. just, yeah. You can't plan for anything like that. No, you really can't. No. Thank you, Jason.